Well, good evening, folks. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching. It's lovely to see you again and a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and our favourite time of the week, which is Sunday for Meals of the Week. And what a scorcher it's been this week. So I've had to completely redo the meal plan. And you'll see things that went on the meal plan, lots of cold meats and salads and that kind of thing. It's just been too hot, although today the rain is coming down and it is grey, so I managed to get the haggis done. So let me just go and show you what we had this week, starting off on Monday. So on Monday, we had a cold meat salad. So this is just deli meat. So I've got some roast pork there and I've also got some mustard crusted ham with a wee side salad. So that's peppers, lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber in a dressing and then a few crisps as well. It was even too hot for chips. Can you believe it? It was scorching here on Monday. One of the warmest days, I think, I you've ever known you know it's just off the charts just now but like I said is cooling down and it is quite cold today thankfully moving on to Tuesday it was either going to be burgers or hot dogs so I went for hot dogs this is a toasted bun and these are the bun limited hot dogs and they are lovely we side salad again just a wee bit of a different salad but more or less the same some coleslaw on the side and I made these, uh, these are homemade potato wedges. So it's basically one big tatty cut into four, popped into the oven with some olive oil and herbs. And I popped some tomato ketchup and cheese on top of the hot dog. And this was lovely for a wee change, you know, with the weather. These were the hot dogs here. Like I said, I basically had to do another food shop <laughs> for all of these meals. This tomato ketchup was lovely. I love the texture of it. You know, it's got no nasties, it's natural. Highly recommended, but it is not cheap. Moving on to Wednesday, we had chicken wraps. So these wraps come out of my degusta box, which I have filmed. That'll be going up on Tuesday, I think. Yeah, they are fab. So they're char-grilled wraps. I put some lettuce, some breaded chicken fillets on top of that, some grated parmesan cheese, and then just some garlic meal on top and wrap the whole thing up, which I'm going to do off camera because it's a bit difficult to do on camera. But again, just lovely and a bit lighter for a warm day, some buttered corn and then just a few chips in the middle for more of a carby element and yeah that went down very well. I got two packs of these from Sainsbury's, I got the breaded chicken mini fillets and I also got the chicken goujons as well. There wasn't really much of a difference, I think the chicken fillets were just a wee bit tougher and these were the wraps that are in the degusta box and one of you guys will have a pack of those when you win the box. Moving on to Thursday, we had jacket potatoes, so we've got some rocket with dressing on the bottom, some of these lovely colourful baby tomatoes on the bottom, some sweet corn, and also some spring onions, some wee cubes of extra mature Yorkshire cheese, some pineapple because we love the combination of cheese and pineapple, a jacket potato with a wee knob of butter and our favourite jacket potato filling is tuna and garlic mayonnaise with a wee bit of sweet corn as well and again just lovely and light and a wee bit more simple for a warmer day. I just cannot believe how warm it's been this week but like I said yesterday and definitely today is a lot cooler and it's quite grey and rainy. On Friday we had lasagna but it wasn't our typical lasagna, it was a spinach and ricotta lasagna I'd done just for a wee change from the beef. I had some side salad on the side, that's the spinach and ricotta lasagna there and it was lovely but I do prefer the beef but I was just trying to do something a wee bit different but it was tasty with some steak cut chips in the middle and these are the Aldi steak cut chips and they're very tasty but they're not the crispiest chips in the world. Moving on to yesterday chicken again so we had chicken salad this time I roasted a chicken in the oven so it's a kind of Caesar salad it's a Caesar salad kit and I've just added some extra bits so some sweet corn some dressed salad leaves that's some small pieces of the roast chicken there with some shaved parmesan and uh, garlic croutons I think these are and this is the pizza express Caesar salad dressing which was lovely and creamy and then some chicken breast from the roast chicken on the top with a wee bit of salt and pepper and this was delicious just for a wee change and moving on to today, I managed to get something warm done. So I had haggis, neeps and tatties because I had to use up that haggis. I got haggis from the butcher. So I just put this into a large cookie cutter, some creamy mashed potato in the bottom, some buttery mashed swede on the top with a wee bit of white and black pepper. That's the haggis from the butcher there. And I also made a creamy 
peppercorn sauce just for over the top and this is one of our favorites and an absolute scottish classic we don't have it that often but it is really delicious just before i move on and leave you i wanted to say as usual a massive thank you to the supporters of the channel over on patreon and to the channel members here on youtube and for you all for watching and leaving your lovely comments and for those who share the videos as well and i will catch up with you during the week for another wee recipe shopping unbagging degusta box unboxing or even back on sunday for meals of the week whatever comes my way first you'll be the first to know about it so thank you once again and i hope you have a wonderful day Day. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I'll catch you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.